Have you ever really thought about where your trash goes once you throw it away? Or where those big garbage trucks are going after they pick up our trash and drive away? If you live in Deschutes County, this is where all of your trash ends up, not landfill on the east side of Bend, Oregon. So all the trash that's collected at your home, at school, or at businesses in Deschutes County all ends up here. This is where it comes to and this is where it's going to stay forever. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, dumps, which we had before we had landfill. So <clears throat> keep in mind, garbage behaves a lot like a sponge. So if you pretend this is a dump someplace, and typically it was just a bunch of garbage piled on the ground or in a hole someplace, start raining and snowing, the snow melts, soaks in the garbage just like a sponge, pretty soon you get enough rain and snow, and what happens is the, the water starts leaking out of the bottom of the garbage. The liquid that comes out of garbage is called leachate. It, trust me, it's not pleasant stuff at all. It's pretty nasty. So right here at Knott Landfill, groundwater is 700 feet down, and we have neighbors all around here in a water company that get water from 700 feet down for domestic use. The last thing we want to have happen is have that, that leachate leak out of the garbage, soak in the ground, and pollute that groundwater. So in the 1990s, the EPA changed all the rules, and dumps went away, and we started doing landfills. So if you take a look out here right now, we're constructing one of our cells at the landfill. The way the, the landfill is constructed, we excavate this hole, it's about 110 feet deep from where we're standing, get all the rock and dirt out of it, and we put in a liner system. If you look off to the side over here, you can see the fabric that they've laid down. There's, there's six layers to it. It's a double liner system, and each liner is made out of three parts. And the first layer that goes down is called geosynthetic clay liner. Between the white and the gray fabric, there's a special kind of clay called bentonite. If you look real close, you can see the little pebbles in there. When, that, when those clay particles get wet, they swell up and they, they kind of stick together, kind of flat, and they stick together. And it's hard for water to pass between the particles. Uh, ranchers will line ponds with this. It re does a really good job for holding water in. But for environmental protection, it's really not good enough. So on top of that, we put this geomembrane down. This is a really tough plastic. You can drive a tractor on it. It won't tear. So that's, that's the primary part of our system that keeps the leachate in the landfill. On top of that is called a geonet composite. That serves as a cushion, and then we put the set, another layer of the clay down, another layer of the geomembrane, a layer of the geonet on top of that, and then we lay one foot of rock on top of that. Once this is all built, then we can start putting the garbage in. So if I could have my model here. <clears throat> so we dig out all the rock and soil. First, first liner goes down, there's three layers in it, one liner just like that. Another liner goes right on top of it just like that. Garbage goes into the landfill, leachate leaks out, stays in the liner. And we have a second liner here because this is our safety. If we have a leak in the top liner, we want to be able to keep that groundwater clean, so our safety is having a second liner. So these red straws, that's our, <clears throat> our pumping system for the leachate. As the liquid builds up in the bottom of the lamp, we pump it out through these big pipes, and we, we, we dump the leachate back down those, those smaller black pipes down into the garbage. So essentially what we're doing is taking the leachate out of the landfill, trickling it on top and just keeping the garbage nice and moist, which helps with decomposition out here. So again, we have a safety liner and then the liner and the garbage, and we keep the groundwater in the landfill nice and clean. Sometimes people have more trash than they can fit in the garbage can at home for various reasons, and so you can bring your own trash here to not landfill and dispose of it in the transfer station here. Also, if you look, there's a lot of material that comes from contractors. They don't use garbage service. There's people in the community that don't use garbage service, and they can haul their own trash out here. So from here, it's put into big trailers and taken down to the landfill for disposal. And this is where you can really see how good or bad we're doing on recycling. If you look, there's cardboard. You can see product things that can go to the thrift stores. There's wood waste. All these things could be recycled and it'd be nice to keep them out of the landfill.
so <clears throat> here's some wood that was disposed of. This is going to go out to the landfill and never be seen or used again. We do have a wood waste recycling program over at the recycling center. That clean, unpainted wood can be brought over there. They'll chop it up. They separate the nails and things out of it, and it goes to a factory, and they'll make new wood products with it. So what we do here is we take in yard debris and food waste material to turn it into compost. We do that through an extended air raid static piles. Uh, materials brought to us either by commercial haulers that pick up from curbside collection or from people bringing in from their home yards, landscapers, bringing all sorts of material into us. We try to make sure that it's only yard debris or organic material coming in here because other things just lead to contamination in our compost piles and end up leading to waste. Our process is that we'll take the pile behind you and we'll grind that up through a big grinder, break it down into a smaller size while we're adding water to it, and then we'll bring it out and we'll put it into piles on top of air pipes where we actively push air into the piles to make sure that we keep everything aerobic. To ensure that it digests faster and doesn't have any lingering odors to it. Thank <laughs> you.